10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow, I think we got a couple gun jumpers. It's hard to tell. I think Sharon Diablo was definitely over. Watch the boat on the inside. The 519 bank on it as he scoots up. He hit the start pretty good. That's going to be Kent Henderson. Everybody else is going to have to hold their lead. Kent's going to come through turn number one. He's going to be able to take the lead outside. That's the benefits of the inside lane. He got that because he had the most points coming into the consolation. So Kent Henderson in the 519. The bank on is going to power down on the outside. Sharon Diablo, we believe, was a gun jumpers up in second position. She's got a boat right on her outside hip. I believe that's the nine in Caroline Dallas. Yeah, it is. The nine on the outside of Sharon Diablo. The two ladies going side by side down into turn number two. Kat Anderson, the 519 bank on it, holds the inside lane with the lead. Sharon Diablo, Diablo racing, comes off of turn number two in second position. Third place to Caroline Dallas on her inside. Y'all be praying the 36 is actually getting a horrible ride on that inside lane. Eyes down new back in sixth position. Seventh place to Matthew Levelet in the 77. Big Boy Machine, Sean Sebastian Boyer back trailing the field, just now coming through turn number two. So Kent Henderson has everything his way. We know he wasn't early on the start this time. That's what got him in this situation. He jumped the gun in his third qualifier earlier this morning. He was right on it here this afternoon. Second position, Sharon Diablo on the inside. Caroline Nelson, the little dog, up on the outside. As they go down into turn two together, side by side, the two ladies racing for second and third position. But all that matters right now is Ken Henderson in the 519. He's opened up a considerable lead almost the whole straightaway right now. As he's entering turn one, the others are just start passing the start finish. So I believe that Ken Henderson's going to have to start in lane seven in the final if he can finish here. But he's got one fast hydroplane. We got a battle of Bruin for fourth and fifth place right now between Matthew Levinlet and the seven on the inside. I can't even see the boat on the outside of my eyes. Can't see it between that rooster tail. That's Yas Velnu, I'm sorry, in the six. So, Bert Anderson, or Ken Anderson, I'm sorry, comes off the exit bit of turn two with a lead, white flag in the air. The 519 bank on it, your leader by a whole straightaway right now. It's his race to lose. All he's got to do is make it smooth through the next two turns, and he will be in the final later on this afternoon. Second position, Sharon Diabo. Third position, Caroline Dallas. Matthew Levelin has moved all the way up to fourth. Jan Bupri, tough luck for Jan here in this heat, having a pretty tough time of it. We've seen him running up front all weekend long. He's fired all the way back in sixth position, and Jan's building him in seventh. But right now, it's Bert Henderson, or Ken Henderson, all by himself, out on the lead, the 519, the bank on it. He'll come through turn number two with a sizable lead. He'll make his way to the start finish line. Checker flag a fly. Kent Henderson, your winner of consolation number one. We'll see him in the final later this afternoon. Okay. Sharon Diablo takes second, Matthew Levelin just will hold on for third, Caroline Dallas will take fourth, and Yambu Pre back in fifth. Eyes Villeneuve will take sixth position in the CS6, the Craft X. So Ken Henderson fights his way to the final. We'll see him later this afternoon in the 519 bank on it. A good running, constellation number one. And he'll be back later on today for the final. Make sure you visit all of our sponsors and vendors, including SP Marine. They're on